What's going on guys, it's Max from Extra Gameplays bringing you my second player review and it is on the new team of the season, Kierling or Kiersling, I'm not sure actually how, I'm not actually sure how you pronounce it. Um, on the screen now you can obviously see his in-game stats and overall they do look pretty beast, he's not as beast as Mata, the one I actually discarded earlier on the, in the week. <laughs> um, as you can see he's got 75 ball control, 80 crossing, 81 curve, 84 dribbling, 99 finishing which is a big asset to his game guys, but the biggest thing I must say before I carry on about his stats, this guy is a midfield whore. He just sits on the halfway line and does your absolute head in. He's got 63 kicks, which doesn't matter. He's a beast in the air, guys. Absolute tank. I must give him that. But it's just a pain in the ass getting them in the bloody box. He's got 70 passing. 96 long shots, which I actually do score a nice little banger with him. He's got 30 marking, which you don't really need to know anything about. 91 pens, 85 short pass, 99 power, 98 volleys. Uh, he's got 82 jumping. He's quite tall anyway, so he doesn't need to be in the 90s or anything like that. He's got 99 reactions, which to be fair is fucking insane because I wish I had 99 reactions. He's got 87 sprint speed, which for the guy of his size is actually pretty... Well, it is decent. We all know that. He's got 80 stamina, 90 strength. 94 aggression and his positioning is 80 which looks decent guys but honestly it is nothing special because obviously his in-game fucking <laughs> work rate. His work rate is a big letdown obviously because it's high high and he plays for Leverkusen as you can see on the right hand side. He's 29, you don't really need to know that. He's like I say 6 foot 3, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and his traits are injury free and finesse shots so enjoy the clips guys and I will show you what I mean. Right guys, so we are in game now, and as you can see, Kiblin is weaving his way in and out of defenders like a boss. And I am on Pro Evo controller for some reason, and don't even ask why, because I'm not, and that's why I blazed it wide. <sighs> it's because Chris used to play on Pro Evo, that is why, and he still does. But sometimes my game settings get mixed up. As you can see, Kiblin is in the middle of the park here, which does my bloody head in, guys, but he plays a nice through ball this time to Royce, and Royce puts it home. Like I was saying about his work rates, he's got a high attackive and high defensive, and guys, that really, really does get on my nerves, because you pay what? I paid 242k for this player, bearing in mind I wanted to get, get him quite quickly and put a review up. I would have put this review up last night, but I was just too tired, and basically it would have been even more shit. So yeah, as you can see, he's burning past some of these players. He does have decent dribbling, guys. You may be put off by it, and he's got an absolute cracker of a long shot. As you can see, whistles one past the keeper there, even though he probably should have saved it. He's got, he's got great talent. I think he's well worth the coins when he'll be. He definitely, he's, he's not worth 240k by all means. He'll be about. To be honest, I reckon he'll go down to about 50 or 60 because of Mandzukic, who I did get out of pack, and you can see in the previous videos. Uh, Mandzukic is probably a little bit better than this guy because obviously he's got better dribbling and maybe, I don't know, I believe he's still got high high work rates so I don't know, that just pisses me off all round. Get this guy in the box though guys, he's an absolute animal, he'll be able to put most things away whether you finesse it or whether you actually just bury it. He's got that long shot trait as well, no he hasn't, I just lied. But he has got insane long shots and I believe his long shots are in the high 90s. Um, the main question people obviously ask about buying players and obviously these player reviews, they want to know if he's worth the coins and obviously if he scores goals, because who doesn't want a striker that doesn't score goals? I mean, <laughs> this guy will score you goals when he's actually in the box, but it's just trouble getting him there. As you can see, he's back here, he's got too much to do, and he has, even his long shots can't even get, get the ball in the back of the net there. He does get away here as well, and it's just, it's like... it. <sighs> Unless you can actually find the space, guys, in the penalty area, this guy will not be scoring you goals. And to be honest, there's not much you can actually say about this guy, apart from the lack of his ability to be able to get in the box in time. <laughs> if he was like had the pace of like Bonner Hall or Ribery, he'd be banging in those goals and getting in the box. But he honestly was just so incredibly annoying to use. And I can't actually tell you how much it is annoying because when you when you do pay money for a striker or he is team of the season, you expect him to be god. So honestly, guys, don't get him. This is he's got three star week for uh, he wins a cheeky few headers from corners in this game. But guys, honestly, do not get this player. And this is a bad review about him. So it's been your boy Max from Extra Gameplays, and you're gonna have to enjoy the rest of the. Because I don't want to talk about this guy anymore because he's so annoying. And I'll see you next time. Peace.